<laughs> What's good, everybody? We back here with another video. Okay. <laughs> that was all outside the camera and shit, so I had to get my shit straight. Well, like you about to fuck us <laughs> up. I had to get my jump straight because I was out here as soon as I turned it on. I tried to jump back in. <laughs> you want me to slide over? We good? Yeah, we straight. <laughs> like you had bambi legs. <laughs> but, uh, we got this reaction. What we got? I read Origins. I'm about to say Origins. Origins of NBA young boy and Fredo Bang B still falling out. That's on route. And it's in New Orleans. Huh? And it's in New Orleans. That's on route. I don't know. You... I can't remember. I don't know. All right. I, I know y'all like us know. What's on route is divided into two sections the top and the bottom. TBG or top boy gorillas reside in the top half, while BBG or bottom boy gorillas are in the bottom half. Now technically young boys are from any of these sets. We mostly see him claiming the north side, and more specifically 38th Street. Yeah, that ain't north side, I'm not the north side. I'm the north, I'm the north one, This is where young boy got the name for his hit song 38 Baby. Now young boy also messes with BBG members, whose main ops are currently TBG. But young boy's beef with TBG lies much deeper than this. And since there's so many people and so much important stuff to cover in this beef, I gotta make this a multi-part series. So if y'all new here, hit that sub button so you can see no, what each yeah. of these parts do. But before we tell you what sparked uh. this deadly beef, you gotta know who's on the NBA side and who's on the TBG side. We gonna keep introducing new NBA and TBG members as the series progresses. Cause I don't want y'all to get overwhelmed at first. But for this video, the only people from the NBA camp y'all need to know are Young Boy, his brother OG33, and Baby Joe. Don't be stressing on names cause I'm gonna keep Baby Joe. Up. But on the TBG side, the main players are G Money, Fredo Bang, and Boulevard Quick. Now that that's out the way, let's get into what caused this former friendship to turn into a violent war with casualties on both sides. We gotta start this story all the way from the top. When a young NBA young boy went to go live with his grandma on North 38th Street. Gee. But after his grandma died yeah, in 2010, he started getting in more and more trouble. In middle school, he started running around with G-Money's younger brother. We even seen young boy and G-Money's brother together on Google Maps. They were some badass little kids running around doing wild shit together. <laughs> and as they got closer and closer, he started bringing a young boy around his older brother, G-Money. The man he later had a fatal beef with. I ain't never had no problem with me, man. Fuck. That was some pussy shit went on him and my big brother. Even though I introduced him to my big brother. You know, we went to the same school and all that. Girl, that my father. But they wanted to be rapping and shit. I wouldn't admit all that. Just like he said, he never had no problem with Youngboy. They was best friends. At one point, after Youngboy's grandma died, he even lived in G Money's house. Yeah, that little nigga like my little father. He used to be like my little brother. He stayed with me and everything. G Money was three years older than him, and Youngboy looked at G as an older brother. As they both started to rap, Youngboy and G was getting closer. He even joined TBG, his current ops with G Money and Fredo Bang. We saw Youngboy in pictures wearing TBG hoodies, and we seen Youngboy and his brother OG33 side by side with G Money and Fredo Bang in their song iPhone 6, which is actually the song that helped put G Money on the map. And around this time, Youngboy dropped his first project on TBG cool. called Life Before Fame, where he was constantly shouting out TBG. But for anyone that knows how the story ends, knows that this friendship didn't last long. And around this time, Fredo Bang got locked up on an attempted murder charge. So when he went in, him, YB, and Alden was still cordial. But when he came out, it was a completely different story. I I, I don't know the 4K trade shit came from. Right. It was NBA. Anybody came to NBA, they come on my line, eat together, we straight. When I went to jail, all of us are good, right? Then you, you get out of jail and then shit goes up. All right, fool, we, we were just in jail a couple months together. We was, we we was making a hookup together. Hanging out. Yeah, like, next week on the op, like, okay. He wasn't around for all the shit that's better happen. When he went in, it was all cool, but this quickly changed. Around this time, young boy and his cousin Buzilla, who was in BBG, started beefing. It's a few stories going around as to why they were beefing, but none of it's really confirmed, so I'm not going to get into the actual reason. But this beef caused Brazilian to start dissing him on Twitter. Even though he was constantly showing love before, wow. he calling himself NBA Boosie. He even posted this video dissing young boy. Side note, but that's actually Baby Joe in that video. One of young boys right hand men today, but at that time they was beefing. And G Money shit. was rocking with young boy in his piece. Which is why G later said his young boy diss track, then young boy had him looking for Buzilla who wanted to kill him. But young boy and Buzilla's beef eventually dies down and gets squashed. Buzilla comes out tweeting that he forgives, but he doesn't forget. And Buzilla goes back to tweeting about how he fucks with NBA, <laughs> like he used to do before they started beefing. 
And with Youngboy getting cool with his cousin and former enemy Boozilla, Youngboy's new enemies quickly become his former allies, TVG. That was a lot of reasons why Youngboy stopped fucking with TVG. According to OG33, no one believed in them. I don't watch everybody in the hood like spit in his face, tell him fuck him. Like, no, we ain't gonna do this shit. Like, they was telling us really give up with this shit because we wasn't going nowhere, but I always believed them. At this time, nobody gave a fuck about an NBA Youngboy. G Money was next up out of their city. He was the biggest upcoming artist in Baton Rouge. So TBG wasn't worried about a Youngboy. And I can't even lie, I fuck with Youngboy shit now, but a lot of those old songs was trash. So of course they focused on G Money. And on top of not being treated fairly, Youngboy was also mad because G slept with his older sister. Remember smoking with your little brother? Man, big nigga I used to call you my big brother. Then you did some five shit and head sticks with my sister. Then threw it in my face and fucked the people on Elster. And if y'all made it this far, drop a like. It helps a ton for a smaller That's YouTuber like myself. But G Money also spoke on the situation with Youngboy's sister. It says Youngboy didn't care back then, but the money made him get a big head. Really, he man, he man about his sister too, though. About his sister? Yeah, I had fucked her a long time ago. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he was, he wasn't really tripping on it back then, though. You know what I'm saying? He be calling me big brother and shit. You know, I guess. He's a legend of fame and shit, get to the head, now he feel like he's just, That's nasty. this new nigga, whoever he's supposed to be, whoever he's supposed to be. Not your home. And your boy also said that G Money accused him of stealing something. So she can't miss an outro pack and you had put the blame on me. Hurt me deep, you don't never post a question, your brother. After all you did for me, you think that I'll steal from you? I had to distance myself, they put it off, I was running, I went to true with my... So with all of this, Youngboy left TBG and focused on his NBA group. But him and TBG weren't on bad terms. Youngboy was just building up his own shit. There was no bad blood between them. He started dropping music videos under his NBA banner. But that NBA TBG relationship started to get rocky. And they both claimed it was because of the other one's sneak dissing. Like, you know what I'm saying, like doing his own thing, getting him a little buzz, getting a little money. He just, like the feelings, he's been feeling probably deep down the side that he was scared to put off. He let that out once he got a, got a name. He sneak dissing on this song. He's saying this and saying that. He said boo-boo shit about a nigga. The nigga wants to just not say nothing. Well, those big disses quickly turn to just disses, and young boy would constantly diss G Money in his songs. I heard a nigga say they turn me up, get off a nigga dick. I like the fact that now I'm blowing up, nigga. Get on your shit, nigga. I ain't never gave me shit. I got this shit up out the mud, get off my fucking tank. The more they hate on me, the more I'ma keep coming with. The more you play, then the more bad that this shit don't get. Ready for the go to war with whoever wanted me. You gon' die for speaking on the nigga, he won't speak on fucking my sister. And Young Boy was making it very clear in songs that he did not fuck with TPG no more. I started with some niggas about a year ago, but they ain't live up to that shit. That shit I'm talking. More money, more problems, time to go to war. I feel it's you and me, I ain't trying to go. Young Boy, not TPG, NBA, it's so living. Let a nigga play, he gon' get it. Talked about me like I ain't with it. Told lies, they weren't loyal, or they weren't 100. Soon as we test, they gon' get touched. Keep that on the under. Nigga said, what about TBG? Oh, let me. Last time I checked, I don't owe the nigga shit. We had a meeting at 3 in the morning. Come with that money, on ain't sign shit. At this time, Youngboy is getting bigger and bigger as an artist. He dropped a song that put him on the map, 38 Baby. And got signed to Atlantic Records around this time, which G Money always talked about, saying Youngboy needed to sign a deal to accomplish the shit he already did. And G said he was still in the streets while Youngboy was in the industry. But their whole little beef came to a halt in November 2017, when Youngboy's cousin Boozilla, who we talked about earlier in this video, got shot and killed. We gonna get more to the circumstances around his death in my next video, and TBG's rumored involvement. But that same night Youngboy got the news, he slid on the people he thought was responsible, and got hit with two attempted murder charges. So he was MIA for the next eight months. Crazy. Just imagine the most popping local rapper in your area shooting up your street. In my next video, we're gonna talk about how he managed to skate away from doing any serious jail time for these charges. But just because Youngboy was locked up didn't mean the beef wasn't still on. Other NBA members were still dissing in their songs. And since Youngboy was locked up, unable to make new music, they released a whole bunch of songs dissing G Money and TBG. So while Youngboy was in jail, him and G Money was still going back and forth. And I told y'all, it was no more sneak dissing at this point. G had a whole song out with another nigga that didn't like Youngboy titled WNBA Smoke. 
which literally he had NBA Youngboy dissing the title, and he was making mm. multiple songs responding to all the Youngboys dissing. Sneak dissing me on the songs like I don't pay attention. Stop rapping like you trying to see me keep that shit in the streets. Nigga hiding TBT, but he ain't ready for beat. The nigga tripping, guess he trying to get some fame now. Had hey, you on the news, sounding nine with your brains. I'm not blasting till I catch Lil when it's fresh Lil. R.I.P. Who next, nigga? Go get him. And make sure you get his click, homie. You end up missing whenever you drop a diss. I ain't throwing no sides, I'm trying to catch a body They gon' see it's really real and body to the trap I'm a sure nigga, oh, sure. it ain't no shaking back oh. You wanna take it there with me, you ain't gonna make say. it back <laughs> NBA so face, started to break the beat I'm going, nigga. So yeah, a whole bunch of dissing went on when Youngboy was fighting this case Which he couldn't respond to cause he was locked up But finally in May 2017, Youngboy gets released And he picks up this beef right where he left off And it heats up like crazy Eventually leading to casualties on both sides And this is where I'm gonna leave this video off at If you guys this far in this video, drop a like And make sure y'all sub to see the next video in this series But that's it for this video, I'm most Spies and I'm out So you think the uh the fame got to his head? No. Yeah. I just think it was a lot of underground it's stuff going on and then you know like once you got famous your fans are looking for that hard stuff or that true stuff, you know. So yeah. that's when a lot of people bring out a lot of stuff. Some people start talking about stuff that happened that was ten or eleven and they grown and stuff like with two chains and stuff like that. He did that I'm talking about growing well, up, you know, ever since she was up. like, Yeah, so I just take it as that. Like, you know, you need them heavy hitters, them you know, the that starts your foundation, show yeah. people where you come from. So that's a part of where you come from. As I say, I don't think it's, oh, I got famous. It's just, of course, when you get famous, you're going to put out your, you know, your hard stuff, your best stuff, so people can know, you know, who you are and all, you know. Yeah. See your rapping skills, <laughs> see how you street rap, all of that stuff, so. Yep. So, um, I hope y'all like the video. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and shit. Peace.